Okay, there are two types of processes. Operations on classes. First one is classes creation. And the second one is classes termination. Classes creation and classes termination. The first operation is classes creation. Uh, this represents creating a Process. To create a process, we can use one system call. The name of the system call is port, port system call. Port system call is used to create a process. If one process wants to create another process, that is possible by using the system call port. The port system call is used to create a process. The process which is creating another process is called as parent process. The new process or created process is called as child process. Okay. So there are two classes. Uh, one class A. Process A is creating another process B means. The process B is called as child process and process A is called as parent process. So this Parent classes can create child classes using this four system call. And one parent can create n number of children, n uh, classes. So one parent can create n number of child classes. Okay. And this child can also create some other classes. Child can also create n number of children. So in process creation, to create a uh, process, uh, one system call is used, the name of the system call is port. Port system call is used to create a process. When one process creates another one process, uh, the, create, uh, the creating process is called as parent process and created process is called as child process. Okay? And the child itself can create some other children. So, so this process continues. Any process can create any number of classes. And uh, one classes create another classes. Uh, this this parent classes can parent classes can allocate the resources that are needed for their child classes. If one classes creates another class means this parent can allocate the resources to all their child. Okay. The resources, what are the resources needed for executing a program? The resources means what? What are the resources needed for executing a process? After loading the program into memory, that is called as class of three. If you load one number again, Execute one. Execute one. It, it needs processor. Uh, some classes need IO devices. Some classes need some other files or some memory. So these are called as resources. So resources uh, needed for executing a class is really CPU time. That is some amount of time is spent within the CPU for executing instruction. CPU time. Uh, memory. Files, IO devices. Okay, so when one parent process creates child process, the parent process needs to allocate whatever the resources needed for executing the child process. Okay, and this child process is a duplicate of the parent process. So I can perform the same task as parent or it can perform different tasks, depends upon the uh, architecture. Uh, here the child have the, uh, have the child the child process created by the parent share the same address space. Address space is shared by both child process as well as parent process. Through this address space, both child and child and parent can communicate with each other. That is 
understand this. When one class is doing it, and one class is this, uh, it, it is called as uh, the child uh, is a duplicate of their parent classes because both can share the same address space. Through the uh, address space, the child and parent can able to communicate with each other. So uh, when one class is create another one class classes, there are two possibilities. Take note. When one class is create another one classes, there are two possibilities in terms of execution. Take note. When one class is create another classes, there are two possibilities in terms of program execution. First point. If one class is pH, another class is there are two possibilities exist. There are two possibilities exist in terms of program execution. There are two possibilities exist in terms of program execution. The first one, right? First point. The parent, the parent continues to execute. The parent continues to execute concurrently. The parent continues to execute concurrently with his children. Parent executes concurrently. Parent continues to execute concurrently with its children. Second point: the parent waits. The parent waits until the parent waits until all of its children. Until all of its children have. Terminated. The parent waits until all of the children have terminated. So when one classes creates another one classes, uh, in terms of program execution, there are two possibilities. The first one is both parent and child can execute concurrently. Okay, when parent execute, at that time child is also executing concurrently. Uh, both are executing. And uh, this parent classes terminates or uh, end uh, when all the child children classes complete the execution. When all the child children are completed, then only the parent is terminated. So these are the two uh, possibilities in terms of program execution. Then right. In terms of uh, 